Yeah, any QSKs, any brake stations, anyone on the side of uh, Channel 27. This is uh, Charlie Tango 104, Mid Wales. We're listening, everyone's welcome to call in, QRZ. Hello folks, 104 checking in. What is it they say about mad dogs and Englishmen? Well, it's not the midday sun, it's actually 2 p.m. But uh, fearsome sunshine today, uh, not my type of weather at all. But um, yeah, it's probably about 30 degrees. It's 32, 33 in other places here in the UK. Hottest day of the year. And um, I'm going to put myself through it. I came over to Midwells. I'm in Mid Midwells now. I want to go walking for um, burn off some calories. I'm not unfit. I've been out there twice already. I'm not unfit. Just want to lose a few pounds. So there's that. I'm testing myself, testing my kit. Because um, as you know, I do like to, I'm not a prepper as such, but I do like to have an option to do emergency comms when it's needed. I consider there's a place for both licensed, as in ham radio emergency communications, and unlicensed emergency communications, and I would hope that they can come together in times of need. But um, I've always been of the opinion it's no good just testing, putting your kit together and say, right, job done. Put your kit together, test it regularly, test it in cold weather, test it in hot weather and everything in between. So um, that's a test of yourself, test of your kit. Some setups I've seen look excessively complicated. While you're sat comfortably, might be an easy thing to put it together and tap away. But if you're under a lot of heat, heat stroke or whatever, or dehydration or at the other end of the scale, maybe some hypothermia, brain freeze kicking in, you start making silly mistakes. So I would say keep the kit as complicated as it need be and as simple as it can be. So uh, that's my uh, ethos on that, but uh, each your own. But the main thing is to go out and test it in situations that aren't particularly comfortable for yourself. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So um, I'm staying in a cabin now up in the uh, hills of Midwells. Um, I'm about 1,300 feet. I'm going to go up about another 700 feet now. Uh, should be over 2,000 feet ASL on a, a bit of a, well, it is a mountain. It's classified as a mountain and um, set up there just with my simple FMCB kit and uh, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I won't report in too much on the way. I just want to get up there, get the kit set up and uh, get on the air. On my other channel, 104 is unplugged. You should see much more about this whole sort of uh, Midwell scene that I'm currently in. Okay, catch you en route or from the top. Coming up, that was uh, that was fairly vicious, and there's very little opportunity for shade on the way up. I say Radnor Forest, but you actually go between two sections of the Radnor Forest, and um, there's no respite from the uh, blazing sunshine there, Ian. Back to you. Copied on that, uh, Gary. All understood, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forest does imply uh, shade, you know, put by the trees, but uh, yeah, stuck in the middle like that. Totally exposed to the sun. Uh, yeah, not uh, not a particularly desirable situation. But uh, uh, anyway, at least you've got uh, the consolation of uh, of a good breeze there. So uh, that would uh, that would help immensely. So uh, yeah, just a question of the humidity there. So don't know what it is this afternoon. I believe it's relatively hot. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tony. Charlie Tango, 2096, you got uh, Gary? Uh, good afternoon, Gary. Nice to hear you, mate. Uh, five and four this way. I'm on the Quantox. Yeah, that's a monster signal there, uh, Tony. Absolute monster. If you want to locate me, um, if you look up the old Mixon transmitter, that uh, is the location I could have got to if I had a little bit more time. It's about 30 metres higher, and it's probably about uh, one mile as the crow flies from this uh, trig point. So old mix and transmitter in the Radnor Forest. That is uh, a pretty good marker for who I am. And that is quite a long distance. I measured it back to uh, my home QTH from here when I came up the other night for a test and it's uh, just over 90 kilometers. So I reckon you're probably about 120 kilometers. I reckon that's uh, about 100 miles there, uh, Tony, back to you. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're... You're, you're a very nice signal, lovely five and four, absolutely no problem whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I got a good idea where you are. Yeah, the old mixing transmitter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly where you are, more or less where you are, but uh, there you are. Oh, yeah, lovely contact, Gary, nice to hear you, mate. And yeah, that's a beautiful one there, uh, great to get in the radio. 
bit of a, a semi-enforced absence this last two or three months, but uh, hopefully back a little bit more often now. And always great to get in the radio. Hope you're all keeping well as well. So back to you, Brian. Thanks for that. <laughs> Yeah, 2043. I've got a little bit of noise underneath you. If there's anyone trying to get in, um, please stand by. Please stand by. Yeah, I didn't quite catch the uh, the person or the, uh, the location, but uh, you are making the trip. You're lighting up uh, two of the bars, so I, I reckon that's uh, a £3 and uh, Radio 4 there. Radio 4, back to you. Yeah, just about made that out. I'm making the trip to you. I'm on Woodburn Common near Exmouth. Over. Exmouth, wow, <laughs> that's a fair old distance there. That's a fair, I'm way up into Mid Wales, way up into Mid Wales, sort of, um, sort of not far from the um, border into uh, uh, North Gloucestershire, Shropshire, I guess, I guess Shropshire. Um, so that is a hell of a distance down that way, and uh, absolutely fantastic copy. I say four whiskies only, and a wire antenna there, mate. Back to you. Yeah, Roger, Roger, yeah, I'm using a T2L2 today. Um, it's good to hear you again. Um, I have spoke to you a long time ago. I'm normally from Hampshire in the Winchester area. Yeah, Golf Bravo 66, go ahead. Yes, good afternoon, my friend. I think you said you're a Ragnar. Is that Roger? I'm in Gloucester this way. You're cracking over down here, mate. 9 over 5, Roger. Yeah, I got you there, mate. Golf Bravo, very famous. Uh, Bunch of folks there. I haven't been on for uh, not regularly for a long time. I used to shout into the net uh, uh, quite often there. Is it still um, going? I can't remember. I used to chair it there, mate. Back to you. Yeah, I used to have Adrian Commando. That's it. Yeah, what's the uh, personal? You called into the uh, homesteaders net. I'm literally up on a, a trig point above the Radnor Forest near a place called the old Mixon Transmitter. I've walked up here today. Just a uh, portable station with four whiskies there, mate. So, uh, yeah, um, if you come back with a personal there. And uh, I'll try and uh, see if anyone else has got you on the net, mate. I haven't got any other stations except you at the moment, my friend. Uh, but you've got Paul this way, go for Bravo 66, two miles south of Gloucester, home based. Roger, Roger. Okay there, Brian, he hasn't heard anyone else on the net. It's Golf Bravo 66, I think his name was Paul, and he's two miles south of Gloucester there, Roger. Yes, Gary, Golf Alpha Romeo Yankee, back to you. Okay, go. Oh, okay, I think you're busy, so I'll let you carry on. Just let you know you're cracking down here. But I do run a net on the night time, except on the Wednesdays, uh, usually for about a uh, quarter to eight to about, about 10 o'clock. So if you're about, give us a call. All right, Gary, there you come on. Cheers and beers. Take care. Have a good uh, DX session. Okay, SD card is filling up rapidly. So uh, hopefully I can uh, squeeze out a little bit more video before I have to uh, head back to the cabin. But uh, yeah, extremely successful now. Absolutely great to make it in on the homesteaders again. We have a good chat about all sorts of things. You might think that all we do is exchange uh, signal reports and uh, all this type of stuff, but it's nothing like that at all. But obviously when you edit stuff down to put on YouTube, you have to uh, just put the highlights in and most people are interested in the distance and the signal. So uh, the sort of chit chat really is uh, is best left to uh, to the guys on the net. So uh, there we go. Anyway, station. So I keep it as simple as possible, less to go wrong. And uh, it is, it's the old T2LT. A lot of people have called it all sorts of names over the years. Well, there you go, I just made a, a contact, four watts, no skip running, four watts FM to a guy, Trevor, who's in uh, Exmouth, some sort of moor or heathland near Exmouth. And that uh, is on the south coast of Devon. So that's bloody uh, really good. I managed to get into uh, quite easily Tony Diode there, who's uh, way down there on the Quantox. Know it uh, myself. And um, there we go. So uh, homemade antenna, six meter Jeep roach pole. Ascend AM, FM, CB radio. 40 quid that cost me, Delta Slim. But a lot of these sort of CRT ones, 
CRT Millenniums, all that sort of thing. They work just as well. Extension speaker, because the uh, speaker and that thing is um, is tiny and a little bit uh, shite. And um, there's the battery. Lithium, so it weighs nothing compared with its sealed lead acid counterpart and it holds its voltage very well so uh, that is the station it was good enough to uh, get me a signal out to all sorts of areas uh, i thought i'd have a few calling in for the midlands and stuff but i guess they're they're not listening for the net so i'll try and publicize uh, a little bit more when i'm going to be out in future but there we go anyway uh, lie of the land over there is the old mixon uh, transmission tower i walked over there before it's easy to get to from here. I might even go that way tonight, but I will go that way uh, later on in the week. Probably go lightweight, no radio as such. And I'll come up this way, go across that way, and I'll drop down through the actual Radnor Forest. The, the Radford Forest, I think, is in two halves. You've got this forest here. And you've got some more forest over there as well. So um, that's the lie of the land. I'm up about 2,000 feet. I started off at about 1,300 feet, so uh, I've come up about 700 feet. Uh, saw one guy on the way up, and he was as surprised to see me, I think, as I was him. Sun has lost uh, a lot of its power up here now, I'm glad to say. And there's those damn flying ants that seem to have a nest down inside the uh, trig point. So uh, there we go, there we go. So I might do a bit of a debrief when I get back or I will do that as a separate video with uh, a few sort of pointers from my experience of uh, operating portable. I know it's only, um, some people would uh, perhaps look down their noses a little bit because it's only uh, FMCB, not sideband or amateur radio. But at the end of the day, it's a radio, it's a battery, it's an antenna. So, um, it's all radio at the end of the day, and uh, I'm sure it's more fruitful if we draw upon each other's experiences rather than be uh, adversarial. Anyway, there we go. That's it for now.